The Human Engineer is a character focused on tech powers and tech combos. This class has 500 base health, 500 base shields, and a full set of movements, including dodges, cover-to-cover -cover rolls, and over-cover grabs. The Light Melee is the standard punch, and the Heavy Melee is a typical Omniblade Slash. The power set on this character consists of Combat Drone, Incinerate, and Overload. Combat Drone is a drone that can be spawned around an enemy and will proceed to attack with an electrical impulse. This power is intended chiefly for crowd control, but it can be also used to create some damage. The Detonate evolution on rank 4 will make the drone explode, do damage and detonate combos when destroyed, while the Shock evolution on rank 5 will add a short-range shock attack to the drone, allowing it to zap and stun numerous enemies within a radius. The other evolutions on rank 4 and 5 will simply make the drone more tanky and improve the base attack. On rank 6, Evolution A Rockets adds a rocket attack to the drone, while Evolution B Chain Lightning improves the base attack to do more damage. Picking rockets will cause the drone to keep some distance from the enemies, as opposed to the baseline behavior of shorting the distance. The typical way to evolve this power is to pick Detonate, Shock, and Chain Lightning to create a drone that will attack the enemies aggressively and detonate combos when destroyed. For a tanky distraction, shields and damage may be used on rank 4 instead. The purpose of incinerate is to deal damage to armor and health, to prime fire combos, and to detonate non-biotic combos, including tech combos from overload. The first evolution on rank 4 keeps the power restricted to one target and marginally improves the single target damage while the second evolution allows the power to hit multiple targets within a radius. On rank 5, evolution A, Burning damage increases the power's damage by half, while Evolution B marginally improves the recharge speed. The evolutions on Rank 6 heavily increase the damage to either armored targets or chilled targets. The correct way to evolve this power is to pick Radius, Burning Damage, and Armor Damage. Overload serves to deal very significant damage to shields and barriers, to stagger enemies, to detonate non-biotic combos, including fire combos from Incinerate, and to prime tech combos. The Rank 4 evolutions are Chain Overload, which allows it to hit an additional target, and damage, which simply improves the damage. On rank 5, Evolution A Neural Shock allows Overload to incapacitate its targets for longer and doubles the damage to organic targets, while Evolution B marginally improves the recharge speed. Rank 6 is a choice between allowing to hit an extra target and massively improving the damage. If this class is to be used as a primary damage dealer, the correct evolution path is to pick Chain Overload, Neural Shock, and Shield Damage. The passive power increases the weapon damage by 27.5% and power damage by 10% if evolved for weapon damage, and weapon damage by 20% and power damage by 35% if evolved for power damage. The choice of evolving this passive power for weapons or powers depends on the weapon, with powerful and lightweight weapons favoring weapon damage. The fitness power can increase health and shields by 65%. Using overload and incinerate to produce an infinite chain of tech and fire combos with the two powers detonating each other and priming anew, seems to be the obvious way to use this class. However, due to the short priming window and long travel time of Incinerate, this technique requires a combination of precision, light weapon loadout, distance to the enemy, and lagless conditions to succeed. When it's impossible to obtain combos this way, they can still be achieved by keeping a drone around the targets to detonate when destroyed. Very often, the player will find himself simply spamming overload to stop nonsensical assaults by extremely mobile Geth and Cerberus units. A weapon setup with a large dose of piercing greatly facilitates this necessity. Another way to combo is to use disruptor or incendiary ammo to prime, picking either overload or incinerate to detonate depending on the target. The recommended power splits are those that either skip combat drone or sacrifice some points of the passive power and fitness. You may choose them based on how much you want to use the drone and of how much use you think fitness will be to you. Geth Scanner will typically be the best gear bonus for this class. The armor bonus may be a power amplifier, power recharge module, or cyclonic modulator. Example weapon choices. Arc pistol with extended magazine, heavy barrel and drill ammo, wraith with smart choke, high velocity barrel and disruptor ammo, venom with spare thermal clips, high caliber barrel and incendiary ammo. This class works about as well against any enemy and on any map.